at least for tonight, we're going to begin speaking about spiritual warfare. Now, when you hear things like this, it might uh, conjure up ideas in your mind of a TV evangelist who begins to rant and rave at the devil, calling him all sorts of names and casting him out here and there. I want you to know that that really has, well, it has nothing to do with this text. Spiritual warfare is about the believer recognizing his or her weakness, depending upon God and God's power, saturating their lives in the Word of God and prayer, taking to themselves, appropriating all that they are and all that they have in Christ, and then walking in Christ's likeness. You're going to see that the great thing here in this passage is simply this. Seek to be like Christ. The devil may slander you. He may crucify you. He may burn you at the stake, but he will not tarnish or soil your testimony. Our greatest, our greatest equipment against Him is to trust God, to draw upon His power, and to seek to imitate Jesus Christ. In the evangelical community in the West today, so much is a fanfare, so much is a circus, so much noise, so many big evangelistic campaigns and big programs and plans and strategies, strategies and church growth this and church growth that. The most powerful thing on this planet, humanly speaking, is a pious life, a godly life, godly, simple, Christ-like, simply walking in obedience to our Lord.